demonizing and and caping for the feds. So are you caping for the feds going who, after who, who are the feds? What are you talking about? I'm saying about you. You you so, talk about us all the time. So now I'm asking you, why why but, do you defend the DD and uh, all the degeneracy that you don't see in Africa? So sir, so sir, let me no, so are you co-signing and you're caping for the feds for going after Diddy. That what you're saying? No. I am what, I am what, protecting the image of black of black uh, black men. You're protecting the image of black yes, men. Yes, and, and you destroy it. You and you, you fled you, and you destroy how, you, it. You, from your homeland, how are you protecting the image of black men and you fled from your homeland? I protect it by being uh, a better man than you. How you don't gonna do that and you fled from your homeland and left all them kids over yes. there? You you said before you were a slave, you are not a American, okay? So don't speak about fleeing. But you, you can't you can't um, uphold the image of black men and you fled your homeland and left all the kids back back in Nigeria, sir. All right? You don't answer any question. Well, you're just babbling. So again, no, you know, you, tell me about Didi. So, 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 you're caping for the feds. So you're supporting the feds for raiding Diddy's house. That's that what you're saying? No, I don't support homosexuals. Oh, okay. But what and, uh, you 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 but, you, but, you love? But them. you had to. But you had to bust your bussy open to get a green card. So, you know, you need to talk about what you've done, sir. You have to talk about what you've done. Okay, you talk about uh, backbreaking and uh, your fantasies, and you destroy the image of black men. I don't do that. Okay. Yeah, you do because we know what you had to do to get a green card. We know what you had to do to green, get a green card. You had to bust it open, get your eagle on, and you had Burner Boy playing in the background. You were getting your bussy blown out to some Afro beats. Maybe you confuse me with your uh, father, but no, 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 nigga. You smell not, like... all, not all black men go through the same. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You had Zaddy spank them little ashy cheeks so you can get a visa to get over here. So anyway, he's very boring. All right. All right, let's get Dr. Davinsky in here. I got to ask you something, Doc, Dr. Davinsky. I got to ask you something real quick. And I told y'all, look, a lot of them tethers are really co-signing the feds going after Diddy. A lot of these dudes are low-key tethers. When you see these comments, it's a lot of tethers who be co-signing that. Who's caping for the damn feds. Um, Dr. Davinsky, what's up, man? Salam alaikum, Tariq Nasheed, White Power Hour. How we doing today? Yeah. Hey, so you're over there in Australia, right? I'm in the Philippines right now. Uh oh, getting your little trick on, oh, you're tricking it off. <laughs> yeah, but but the, enough, you know, but the DD this... guy, the DD guy was correct. Uh, you do make a lot of smut films about your sick, twisted fantasies. Like I know you're, you're craving the big white cock, but come on, Tariq, we've seen enough of this. What Boy. are you going to do at the Hidden History Museum? You're going to have like a picture. Now listen, that, that's that's science fiction. Big white cock. That's a science fiction movie right there. No. We have to use CGI. I don't have that kind of budget to make a science fiction film about Big White Cock. But anyway. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you got a whole section of the Hidden, hidden History Museum just like about like buck breaking? No, no, no. We don't. We know, but we, we, we can have you in there. We can have you come Correct. to a lesson about your family. Correct. Correct. Now, you, if this is wrong, just quickly, Tariq. So I've heard that on the side of the Hidden History Museum, there's a mural, and you've got heroes like Rosa Park, Marf Martin Luther King, and then you've got your big ass fucking face, like just taking up the whole wall. <laughs> Are you like the main character in like civil rights for black people or what? No, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have Rosa Parks. We don't have Martin Luther King. So you got to get your life straight. But uh, yeah, I'm on the mural. I am on the mural. Have you got Dee Dee? I'm not even the biggest one on there. What and look, Didi? oh, but I saw I was I was driving down the street and I saw a mural of your bussy in West Hollywood <laughs> with a map to Australia leading to it. I said, "Oh shit, that's Dr. Davinsky. What the hell is going on?" If I actually came, it, would you like? It said, would and, you it, and it said, "And it said, welcome to the Down Under." <laughs> <laughs> if I came to the Hidden History Museum, would I get like a VIP tour? Would I get to see like you know the chair used in the Louisiana boat ride and shit? Like, would I get special access or? You no. Know, what we do, we're gonna have a night for the white supremacists. We're gonna have mayonnaise Mondays, so you guys can come on down. We're gonna have some avocado wraps. Um, 
We're going to play some Taylor Swift. We're going to have a, a night just for the white supremacists to come on and enjoy themselves. Um, so you guys go. But but I want to ask you, something is going on in Australia right now. There's some rioting going on over there in Alice something. Yeah, so Alice Springs is the name of the town. Right. Now, what's going on with, with my black brothers over there in Australia? Why are they turning up on y'all white supremacists? What do y'all do? So the issue is, is that they can't handle alcohol. So we've got restrictions. It's called dry zones. So on the reservations, um, they're not permitted to have alcohol. And I think that's the reason they attack the, uh, the bar. Because if you live on a reservation, you can't have alcohol. And you can say what you want, but it's not really, it, it's like a zoning kind of thing. So it's not explicitly racist. And there are a lot of issues there with alcoholism. I mean, this, this little town in the desert has one of the highest like crimes in, in Australia, even out of like Sydney and like urban areas. It's, um, it's super dangerous, really dangerous, yep. actually. You goddamn white supremacists funneled the people in these little um, dilapidated areas and took all the damn resources from them. So yeah, y'all. No, no, no. So that's not that's not true. In Australia, if you live on a reservation and say a mining company wants to come, you get paid off. So you get like kind of access to um, dividends from these mining companies. The Aboriginals in Australia honestly have more privilege, and I can prove this. No, they don't. I, no, they I don't. Can, I, can, I can prove this to Rick. Oh. No, they so, don't. Dude, I done been over there, dude. They don't. I done been over it, there to Redfern. I done been to, dude, they don't. They're living bad. They don't have it. They're, they're, you're not going to say that now. You, you sound like the white supremacists over here. No, no, no it, it's true. So they get uh, they get more money from the government. They have a thing called ab study. Regular people just get like Centrelink, um, but they get ab study. So it's more money from the government to... No, uh, that's like a little welfare program they give them to keep them on the reservations, to keep them strong. That's like a little welfare but program. Then, then, again, then they get free checkups at hospitals. Uh, my brother's applying for medicine right now. The Aboriginals don't even have to pay for the JAMSAT course, which is like $3,000. Yeah. Um, th there's yeah. lots of benefits that they get. And I can prove that they're a privileged class because let's say this. There's a ton of ab so-called Aboriginals in Australia that are basically white people, like 95% white. They've got a great great grandmother that was a fucking Aboriginal, and these yeah. people that are white I, I, class. Him. Yeah, but but the black fellows are still being mistreated over yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, I agree with I agree with that, Tariq. But my issue is, is like if there really was a lot of discrimination against Aboriginals, why would these white passing people identify as Aboriginal? Clearly, there's some benefit in doing that. So right? they can so they can have claims to the land. That's why because no, white so they can get extra benefits from the institutions from the government. Yeah, this white, is why they do it. The white supremacists love to claim an Aboriginal ancestor so they can get some free benefits too. They love doing that. They do yeah, that. Yeah, but over you you will talk to these people and they will straight up swear they're black. Like they will have blue eyes, blonde hair, red beard, like me, and they'll be like, "Hey, deadly cousin," like this kind of stuff, you know? Yes, indeed. But anyway, man, thank you so much, man. All right, but yeah, I don't like to see the um, Aboriginal brothers and sisters over there be, be mistreated. And I stand with the Aboriginals over there in Australia. I stand with them. Get them white supremacists off your bumper. Go at them. I stand with you, Aboriginals. I stand with you. All right. <clears throat> Man, we got a lot of people in here in the middle of the night. We are in here heavy in the middle of the night. And by the way, speaking of the Hidden History Museum, we got a great event happening April 13th. We got a comedy night. We got some great comics that we're going to have. We got um, Tori Hart. We got Big Job. We got Ron G. We got Comedian CP. We got a lot of very funny people. We're going to have complimentary food, drinks. It's going to be on and popping at the Hidden History Museum. Nothing like it. We have a great time there. People really enjoy themselves. The Hidden History Museum gets popping. All right. Let's get um, Max Julian. Let's get Max. What's going on, Max? It's too fucking early to be trolling about anything like this. Do you understand like the, severity, the severity of the shit that you're talking about? Like what? Bro, I'm not gonna repeat any of the sick shit you just said. I just screen recorded your weird ass and posted your weird ass twice, nigga. You're weird as fuck. Everything. Okay, okay, little sassy dude. Stop, stop being like your mom. 
All right. We can tell you being raised by a little hood rat and you're being emotional and sassy. Okay. Now you one of these little emotional sassy niggas. All right. Now say what's on your mind. Bro, you're look. defending pedophile allegations. You will indulge in. Dude, dude, who, who's the pedophile? Who? Who's the pedophile? Who's the Bro, pedophile? P. Diddy, nigga. Prove it. Prove it. Or even prove an allegation. Nigga, no allegation. Jumbotron, I just shared it. There's, there's no allegations of puppy being I just shared a- it, bro. The shit with Justin Bieber, nigga. Stop it, bro. Dude, nobody... It, bro. There's no allegations of him being a pedophile. What are you talking about? You're, you're weird as fuck. Dude, you being a gossipy little bitch. What kind of nigga sitting up here gossiping and just making up shit? You're making up something, dude. Bro, you just shut up here on some white power shit. Dude, you're making up stuff like a little hood rat in a hair salon. That man not been accused of being a pedophile, nor has he been charged with it. So what are you talking about? You, you're trying to sit here and gossip and you want me to gossip with you? It's only going to be one bitch up here, not two. You're trying to get somebody to be a bitch with you. That's not me, brother. I don't do that. Now, stop being like your mama sitting up here making up shit, talking about P. Diddy was a pedophile. and Dude, untuck your balls, dude. Stop being a little bitch ass, making up stuff. I don't respect that. Get out of here. Little old sassy boy. This dude must be a tether. I don't... I don't do that. No, no, I don't sit up there just... No, 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 we're not going to sit up there and just make up allegations about the guy. And No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, no, no. I don't do the sassy fuckboy thing. All right, let me get some other people in here. Hold on, we got these niggas out here caping for feds and making up narratives... No, we don't do that in grown man land. Um, let's see. Let's get Ken Davis in here. Ken Davis. All right, what's wrong? These tethers are weird. I think that dude was a tether. Um, Ken Davis, what's up, brother? All right, Ken, oh, he, he got out of here. All right, let's get... um. 24K, didn't I have you on before? Or something happened. A 27K, something like that. What's up, 27K? 27K, hop on. Oh, my bad, gang. I thought somebody said you was talking shit. Okay. We got some sassy dudes in here now. I can hear the lisp. Okay. You talking to me? Yeah, who who you talking about? Somebody nigga, I don't got no list. Hey, but uh, you know, it's a major, it's a major, it's a major. Uh, he he going down the road, bro. Okay, so you what are you? So why are you being sassy? You you you're being sad, and you have a list. So I know you about to say some bitch made because you already got a list. I heard you talking shit. So when a nigga says that, up uh, bitch in him, he got bitch in him. Why are you trying? Why are you trying, dude? You came in. Gossiping. Uh, that said, was that was the last nigga, bro. Who said something about me? Who talking about me? That's what you sound like, man. How old are you, brother? How old are you, man? I'm 28, brother. Man, you're 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 old enough to really step your manhood up. Don't don't be no bitch ass all your life, brother. You got to get around some players so they can kind of lace your boots up. You hang around your mama too much, man. Stop That's being, crazy as shit. Stop stop hanging around your mama and your aunt too much, brother. Nigga, uh, you you sweeter than me. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, nigga, stop hanging around your mom and your aunt, brother. It's rubbing off on you, man. You got to find you some some mentors, brother. You feel me? Are you Sir Major's mentor? You need to find some mentors, my guy. You need some mentors. Stop being bitch, man. Uh, he, he going down the road. I just wanted you to know. <laughs> Check in with your boy. I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. You're just saying real weird, random stuff, dude. And I don't even know what you're talking about. That's why you got to be around some men. Hang around some dudes so that you can know how to speak when you get around men. And don't be sassy. Is this picture of you on the 
the Diddy set, uh, is that AI or is that you hang around all them dudes on Diddy set? Is that a video? What, what, oh. what a, a picture of me in a music video? Yeah, on what the, about? On the set with Diddy? Yeah, I was in a music video. I would just make sure it was an AI gang. I'm, you know. No, 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 it's not AI. I was in a music video. That was a Faith Evans music video. I was in a Faith Evans video. And somebody saw me at a grocery store and said, hey, a lady said, I want you to be in a music video. You got a good look. A, a lady. Yeah, a lady met me at a grocery store and asked me to be in a Faith Evans video. In a did Oh, Faith Evans. Okay, okay. So it wasn't a Diddy video. Faith, it's a Faith Evans video, and Diddy just happened to be in there rapping in it. But the video was for Faith Evans. Okay, bet. You, you, you good? Nigga, I've been good. Somebody said you was talking shit. I'm just making sure we good. You talking, good? Talking shit to who? Talking shit to who? What are you talking about? Somebody said I'm Niggas might just be starting shit. You good, gang. All right. But talking shit to who? So you're just saying stuff and you're not being elaborate on what you're saying. And then you're bringing up a, me being in a video, almost like that was a gotcha. Was that supposed to be some kind of gotcha or something? Okay, he left. Yeah, motherfuckers, when you start reaching for something, that's, that's bitch made. Was that, I'm a little confused. Was, was that supposed to be some kind of gotcha? Like they got a screenshot of me in a music video and Puffy's in the background. And is that a gotcha? That's, that's some kind of gotcha. That's from 1998. I was in Faith Evans' video. Okay. That means you ain't got no material. That means you're trying to reach, you're trying to fish for something. And damn, that shit didn't, that didn't go nowhere, did it? That's why, to, be a man. It's just better to just be a man because trying to do little weak gotchas that fall flat, eh, just be a man about yours. That's the point. That's why it's important to just be a man. All right. Let me get some more people in here. All right. We got a lot of folks. So Black Alpha, I see you down there, brother. Yeah, um, I, I think I, back in my Mac Lessons days, I used to play that Faith Evans video. That was before copyright strikes and all of that stuff. I forgot the name of the song. Had a great time doing the video, by the way. I was at a grocery store years ago. Some lady walked up to me, said she was a casting director. So I want you to be in the video. You got a good look. And they papered me up and had me be in the video. That was it. That nigga was fly like that. All right. Let's get some more people in here. Let's get a uh, Chew. All right. Chew. What's up, Chew? Let's get Chew in here. All right, Chu. Where you at, uh, Chu? Oh, hey, Tariq. What's up, brother? Nothing much, man. I just wanted to ask a simple question um, about your reparations event. I believe I've watched... First off, first off, I just want to say I appreciate your videos and all that. And then, uh, too, um, I saw in one of your videos you mentioned, like, doing, like, a reparations uh, gathering in D.C. Is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where can I get more information on that? I, I'm a big fan of, you know, events like that. And also I had another question too. Um, what can, what can be done on a local level to, um, you know, amass people to like awareness for reparations for uh, black people and things like that. Uh, I'm in California, I'm in Northern Cali. And yeah. I just, I just want to really like, you know, see what can be done on my end, just on an individual level, you know, to help people get aware of the issue and, and spread awareness. Yeah, good, great question, brother. Now, again, now, as far as the event in D.C., I'll let people know some details within a couple of days. We're still putting some things together. And you said how to do things on a local level. Look, I was um, um, driving in L.A. down in South Central a few days ago, and I saw some brothers on Crenshaw and Slauson with signs. They were just in the middle of the street with signs, reparations, talking about the importance of reparations. It's just literally, literally getting outside, man. 
really getting outside, getting around like-minded people. There were some brothers just out there with signs letting passerbys know, hey, reparations is on the forefront. We're talking about reparations, reparations, reparations. You got people out there in the streets with signs every day saying, hey, reparations is what it is. That's what it takes. It takes grassroots, getting out there on them bricks, hitting the pavement, um, letting people know what it is going to be. Gathering with like-minded people. That's why I like doing events and having mixers and places where people can network with each other and to be around like-minded people who are all about tangibles and, and, and building on the grassroots. So get with some local people in your area and just build with them from there. And, and you see Devon down here, Dusty Devon giving the thumbs down. Don't be like him because his answer was fleeing from his homeland to come over here and drive Uber. Don't be like him. All right. Do the opposite of the tethers. Do the exact opposite of him. All right. Let's get Bone, Bone Marley. Let's get Bone in here. Let's get Bone. Yo, what's that in the flex? What's going on, brother? How are you? I'm all good. Uh, so two things. Uh, one thing is, I heard your yo your, your show a couple weeks ago talking about you had to reheat some heroes, nigga. You can't be doing that. That's just gonna be nasty in the motherfucker. I, I, I reheated what? Some Harold's. You say you had some Harold's oh, yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's good when I reheat it. I love it. It was okay, okay. That's what's up. Uh, yeah. Another thing is, so this is like my first um, hands-on experience with like non FBA brothers. Uh, missed this dude at my job. <clears throat> uh, had a problem and I corrected the brother. He couldn't pronounce a certain word, so I told him in front of the manager, like, "Hey, bro, that ain't that ain't how you pronounce the word." <clears throat> so it kind of went off. Kind of guess, guess, guess kind of left a bad taste in his mouth. He felt some kind of way. So he came up to me like, hey, man, you know, we say nigga, but I don't want to say nigga around, you know, around them. I'm like, well, you know, this is what we do out here. This that Jamaican shit is, you know, that Jamaican shit. But this is what we do. So he like, I bet. So he went to go tell a manager that I said nigga. Now, mind you, we've been saying nigga back and forth for the entirety of about five months. We've been working together. All of a sudden, yeah. the brother found there was a problem. Nigga got me fired because he went to go tell a manager that I said nigga. Wow. Some simple, some simple shit that any other brother that I would, you know, you know how we do in the workplace. We horse around, talk shit and all that. And it was right. all good up until the day I corrected him in front of a white dude. And it wasn't no me trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to be on the white side of things. It was just more so that's not how you pronounce that word. This is how you pronounce the word. And I think he just kind of felt the kind of way. And I, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that that, that was like a big wow moment for me because that was like a career path that I was going. But the fact that he was able to have that amount of power. Because it's the thing is this this is the thing. I've I say that word around every manager on that dock. I work I worked at a dock. So this wasn't an uncommon thing for me. So if they never said anything, how come all of a sudden when this nigga come up and run to the manager like a little bitch, all of a sudden it's all well, we'll call you back, give us the key, you know, turn in your badge. So it was that kind of thing where I kind of experienced that, you know, firsthand. Man, man, I, I man, I, my condolences to go out to you, man. Hope you get another job. But yeah, them and them tethers, man, in the workplace, they will undermine you, man. It ain't like they ain't on code like other brothers. Brothers be on the job, be at the workplace, and just kind of chopping it up and all of that. You know not to go to the supervisor snitching. That's tether shit 101. That's why they will they like to have those tether supervisors. Yeah? And you think you're chopping it up with him and you thinking everything is cool. Let me tell you something. You go to some of these jobs, they like to have tether supervisors or tethers mammies or bed winches. those are going to be who the supervisors are ladies y'all know you work somewhere and they got a a bed winch working up there who then who's probably laying up with the boss or something yeah laying up with the white boss telling them every move y'all make and y'all get my book race beta fba race beta i talk about um, navigating through office politics and workplace politics when it comes to race. Boy, the politics are insane. It's a, it, it, to navigate around that, man, it's a science within itself. Yeah. Man. Max, I know you're trying to get attention. You're over there making, I already had you on, dude. 
So I don't know all these little gestures you're making. I've already had you on. So you... What's up, Grinds? Let me get Grinds in here. Grinds TV. What's going on, Brother Tariq? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? All right. Um, try to be as quick as possible. And I don't want to do too much about this, but I think it just needs to be said. With um, suspect individuals like this 27K, one, we don't believe, a lot of us don't believe that he's uh, FBA. Mm. Um, now, the thing is, he'll kick it with some of these other people. And then there's another guy down there. Um, uh, in the listener right now, one moment they'll get on here and try to chop it up with you like it's all good and everything. Next thing you know, they're holding whole spaces, either doing um, hit pieces on Sir Major in this case, uh, which is hella off cold. Right. Um, and then uh, also they'll um, like this guy, 27, has specifically tried to act like you're like some cult leader and all this bullshit. Mm. So, you know. People, please be careful. Like I said, I'm not trying to make this real drama field on your sp on your space because I don't want to be I don't want to disrespect you in your space like that. Oh, but, yeah, uh, it's just very desperate at this point um, and off cold of these people to just pop out of nowhere and just do dumb shit like that. I just want to warn you all. Good looking out, man. You know, I mean, these Twitter spaces are real funny. It's some real funny style stuff with these Twitter spaces because boy, you got ops big time. You got a lot of ops who they act like they're cool in the gang and they be plotting and doing little backstabbing behind the scenes stuff. That's real big on here. And you know what? You Let me tell you something. When we start really announcing, I'm telling y'all now, when we fully announce the, the rally in D.C., watch what y'all see. A lot of these folks that's kind of skinning and grinning in these places, they're going to start really opping it up. Because when we did the last rally rally for reparations, boy, some of these niggas, they started doing like 24-hour slander spaces. I'm like, these niggas was in these spaces for like days on end. And I'm not exaggerating. It was, you look at the, the spaces and it says like 24 hours and 23, 32 hours. Niggas was like doing like days like 72 hour shifts of trolling and slander to try to deter people from participating <laughs> so you see a lot of this oppy activity going on now 27 let me get you back on because yeah your 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 vibe is kind of oppy 27 27k yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I ain't never fake kicked with you, gang, and I never claimed FBA. You started FBA. I never claimed that shit, or you started hashtag. Look, but I came back because you was talking about uh, my my pimping, gang. You was talking about my pimping. I'm trying to see, is it player the way you handle oh, Jade? Oh. Is it player the way you handle Jade? Is that player? Is that what a Mac would do, oh. the way you handle Linus Crown? What, 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 how did I handle her? Is it player the way you handle her? How did I handle her? You, oh, look, I gotta hear I'm, this. I'm asking you, is it player the way you handle her? And hey, Grimes, how, you fat fuck nigga, I, I got something for you too. Fuck nigga, you know I don't play that. FBA how did shit. I handle her? I'm, no, nigga, I'm, I just asked you a question. Why you asking me a question about a question? Why are you asking me a question about a question, gang? Hey, is it player the way you handle her? Is that? Hold on, hold on, no, no. 27, you're not gonna talk over me, little old emotional bitch ass. Get back up here. Get back up here, bitch ass. I'm not done with you. Get your ass back up here. You're not gonna get emotional and babble over me get your ass back up here little old sassy boy get your ass back up here get your bitch ass back up here don't get sassy oh fuck boy you sound all thin and frail. Don't don't try to sound tough. I, I I hate when little old frail niggas. You can tell he's like little and asthmatic. I hate when little niggas like that try to sound tough over the phone. Dude, you're not convincing at all. For you from ain't gonna bust a grape dot com, brother. I hate when little fuck niggas try to sound tough on the internet. <laughs> Listen, nigga, you, you you heard what I said. You you heard me. You gonna respect my pimping. You gonna respect my gangster, nigga. With a whole list. <laughs> Who are you trying to raise your little old frail voice to? Where you at, brother? You I didn't. You, you dipped up out of here, guy. Who are you gonna try to raise your little frail voice to? 
Well, you don't that don't work over here. Yeah, a little shit like that. That nigga, that type of shit works when y'all yell at women. Y'all be jumping on the women in your family and the women. Yeah, that shit work on women. That shit don't work on on dudes, man. When you trying to your little thin chested voice, you can't even get no bass in your voice trying to sound like a G. I want you to get back up here wherever you at. Don't don't hide, fuck boy. Nigga. You better say it with your chest. Let me get some more folks up here. We got 419 scam. 419 scam. Mm-hmm. What's up, 419 scam? Hold on. Let me get oh, wait, wait, let me get the 27 back up here with this. No, no, no. I don't want you to dip out, nigga. I want you to say what you have to say with your full chest. Who me? You still talking shit, gang. Hold on. No, 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 you say what you got to say with your full chest. <clears throat> now, what you got to say to me, bitch ass? Why are you talking to me crazy? Yeah, nigga, you sound, you trying to sound tough. Nigga, what you going to do? Over the, who, over the spaces? Y- yeah, nigga, who, who are you trying to sound tough to? Who the fuck you think you talking to? Nigga, who the fuck are you talking to? I'm talking to your bitch ass. You ain't talking to me. You must be talking yes, to Jade. That's, you how you th- th- that's how you talk to Jade. Don't you try to talk yeah, tough. Yeah, fuck, nigga, that's why you got out your body, bitch. Yeah, dude. You ain't gonna talk crazy to me. You ain't gonna do nothing. Nigga, I talk stupid to you. You brought me back. Fuck you me, ain't nigga. gonna do nothing. And you I just brought you back right up leave, here. Nigga. Fuck you. I brought you back up here to show the kind of bitch you are. You ain't gonna bust a grape. And you know you ain't. So you get in your place. Stay in the bitch nigga's place. You feel me? You understand that? Don't play with me, boy. Because you know what it is. You sound like Sir Major. Hey, check on that nigga too. He doing bad. Yeah. He doing yeah. bad. And, uh, uh, yeah. You just gossiping. Yeah, fuck, nigga. You're gossiping yeah. like a little Nah, you asked me to gossip on what you did to that lady. You know what you did to that lady, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. Hey, you know your bitch ass, nigga. Fuck you. You tell me. You tell me what I did. Fuck you, nigga. You tell me what I did, hoe ass. Did, who started FBA? Did you start it? Me and your mama, nigga. So what? Fuck, what's nigga. that? Me and, your, me, and your, me and your crackhead mama did, motherfucker. So what's up? Come on, little old frail nigga. Me and your mama started FBA. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, ain't it, nigga? All right, well, check on Jade then, or Sir Major One of them. I ain't got to check. Me, on how about that? How about leave, leave Linus Brown alone then? How about that? Check on. How about I ain't that? Got fuck, nigga. Yeah, you know me. your business, bitch. Yeah, you don't know shit about me. And ain't nigga. no option going on. Stop. Fuck you and Grimes. That's that fuck, nigga. Nigga, do yeah. do something. What you gonna do besides whine like a little bitch on this phone? I ain't. I'm not making threats. You, you ain't gonna do something. But stop talking. You ain't doing shit. Fuck you mean. You, you ain't nothing to do, nobody nothing to. You ain't All shit. Right, then. Fuck boy. So what you gonna do, nigga? Nothing. But Not gossip. That bitch ass museum. But this bitch ass museum is better than your bitch ass Section Eight apartment where you stay with your aunt, nigga. Yeah, I... you dig? With your little old frail ass. Now get your ass off the phone, little old sassy boy. All right, that's what I thought. Hi, Tariq. What's up? What's up, four one nine scam? All Maybe... I have to say is black people are cotton pickers. Okay. And um, and that means what? Okay, he he bounced. Okay, all right. Let's get Sister Nikki, Nikki the God. Let's get Nikki in here. Let's get Miss Nikki in the building. Nikki, what's up here? Hello. Um, hey, beloved. I, sorry about that. This is really quick. I just whatever accusations are being made. I just wanted to make it clear that Flex, Tariq Nasheed has been nothing but respectful to me and several um, Black women. So if he if he's trying to say that you did something to someone or someone's trying to make an accusation about you, it's just not true. You've been mm-hmm. nothing but respectful to me. Real talk. That's why I wanted him to say something. I wanted him to say specifically what was done to who. Real talk. But thank you, dear. Yeah, that's why he couldn't say nothing. I wanted him to say specifically, say something. Don't sit up here gossiping. What did I do to anybody? I didn't do shit. But treat everybody with some damn respect. You can't say I did shit to anybody. Everybody around me was treated with the utmost respect. Everybody. So, yeah, that's why the nigga couldn't say nothing. Yeah, y'all don't want to play that game. Y'all don't want to play those games at all. Niggas do not want to play that game. 
And there's a can of worms y'all really don't want to open up. You want to know who did something to folks. Y'all don't really want to go down there. Trust me, y'all don't want to go there. If we want to start pointing out who was actually doing fuck shit, if y'all really want to go there, because boy, the receipts are insane of who was really doing some bullshit. And what me? You feel me? If y'all really want to know who was doing some bullshit out here, y'all really don't want to open up that can of worms because there's people around these spaces that was doing some real oppy shit behind the scenes. So yeah, don't don't play that. Don't play with that. You know, don't even play with that type of shit. All right. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Uh, y'all open up a can of worms and that shit's going to backfire on a different level. That shit's going to really backfire opening up some shit like that. Let's get um, G Money. He got Kermit the Frog in his thing. What's up, G Money? Speakers, peace to those who spoke, and most importantly, peace to the listeners. What you got going on here is uh, an influx of bullshit that's going on in these spaces. Uh, it's the rehashing of uh, fuckery, uh, clown, goofy, dumb shit. Mm-hmm. The little young guy, 27K, he's an oppy op young fella who doesn't have a, a whole lot of information to give. Uh, four, 419 scammer is nothing but a, a Nigerian troll who has nothing better to do but sit on the app and fucking chase around FBA and black Americans and try to disrupt and dissipate the conversation. Now, uh, we've had an influx of uh, Africans once again on the delineation, disrespecting, shitting on black Americans. Mm. This, this is foul. This is a, another rehashed event that we have settled. Um, it's just time that you know, we just start focusing on ourselves, leave these yeah. imbeciles and idiots alone, and let's get our shit together. Let's get this rally popping. Let's get 10,000 people, 20,000 as opposed to the 5,000 that showed up. Respect mm-hmm. to you, brother, for what you do on this app, for what you do off this app, for what you represent for our people. And uh, you're a shining example of what a lot of us need to do as individuals to better our uh, community. And I appreciate you very much, man. And much love and respect to all my black Americans who are standing on business and doing what they got to do to keep their family right and get our family together in the future going forward. Thank you. My man, real talk, man. Appreciate that. Now, that's grown man talk right there. That's what I'm talking about. We need more of that. That's grown ass man talk. Black Alpha Network in the building. What's up, brother? Man, peace and respect, Tariq. How you feeling, family? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? Man, I'm good, brother. I just want to say something real quick, and I'll chime in, and I'll go ahead and drop down. I just want to say, all these little boys, these 132-pound people on here hating, if you're jealous of our brother Tariq, if you're jealous of foundational Black Americans, just say it. Log off these spaces. Go take care of your family. Brush your teeth. And sit back and watch us continue to make history, brother. So salute to you and everything you're doing. And all the haters, keep on hating and watch my brother shine. Salute, family. Man, much respect, family. Real talk. Yes, indeed. Man, man, man. What's up? I see my brother Afro Elite in the building. Shout out to everybody here. Let's get um, a lot of folks in here. A lot of folks in here. And by the way, the movie Microphone Check in theaters this May, go to microphonecheck.com, microphonecheck.com. These theaters are selling out very fast. These theaters are selling out very fast. Shout out to everybody who's coming to the screenings around the country. From the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror Root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root 
offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture, history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice.